All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up suction. Um, some of these vacutainers are a little bit different, so make sure that you have the correct one. Also, some of them have additional connectors. This is just what we happen to have here in our lab. Um, what you want is a canister that has a gauge. Some pl places have containers that you actually keep in the patient's room and then they have disposable inner linings. This one is just the container. You have to have your cap, so I would just push that cap on. Now there are a few different holes. You want to cap the big one, like so. Now there's an ortho, vacuum, and patient. There's three little caps. I'm gonna go ahead and cap ortho because I don't need it connected to anything for ortho. We want to slide it in here. Now this tubing right here is in the room. It would connect to the vacuum, which happens to be the middle one here. All right, then you want to connect the canister with the actual regulator. So there's a little part down here that you connect. And then if you look up here, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this for a minute so you guys can see, there's this little hole right here. You can connect it to that. All right, then you're gonna take whatever suction tubing that you have for the patient and you're going to connect it right there. It's really important that you learn this skill and are able to do it quickly because should the patient be in a code blue situation, it needs to be done really quickly. Um, when we look at this, if you turn this little dial up here to regular, and we don't have suction hooked up to the wall, but that should create a constant suction. If it doesn't, turn this dial as far as it'll go. That'll flip this little uh, arrow all the way over here to the 300. If for some reason you have that and your machine is making the right suction noise noises, and, but you're not getting suction at the end, there's this little tab over here. If you guys look at this little tab, it could be horizontal or vertical. If you do it horizontal, you're cutting off the flow here. So you wanna make sure it goes vertical and that'll open up your flow. So then you should be able to get good suction here. Now, if you guys looked at that NG tube insertion video, I mentioned to make sure you keep this little plastic. So you're gonna put the plastic together like this, and that could be used to help suck from the NG tube. When you suck from an NG tube, you usually want it to be intermittent because it's going into that lining of the stomach. So that's what this INT stands for. And intermittent means it'll suck and then stop, and suck and then stop. You also wanna look at your order. If it says low suction, it needs to be in the green medium, and then high suction. Obviously the higher it is, the stronger it is. So for this one, the doctor said low intermittent suction, so I put it on low, and then I'm going to twist this guy until my arrow goes into that green. But now we're gonna say the patient's choking and needs um, oral suctioning. So for that, I'm going to disconnect this NG tube. This is called a yonker. Um, this is not something that goes down into the airway because it is very, very hard plastic. But with this, you can see this area right here. You just put your tubing here. And this is, like I said, this is a hard plastic. It doesn't bend at all. So you, this is where you can kind of suction in the, the pockets of the mouth. A lot of times with this, you're gonna go to the regular, which is the stronger continuous suctioning, and you're gonna flip it to high suctioning. Um, some patients also like to use this if they're having trouble with like spitting or something. And then you would just then put this in the pockets of the mouth.